Newcastle Fans TV. Harry, everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. We've got the Fantastic Four and we're here to talk transfers. Newcastle are going to be very, very busy. I think they want to bring in maybe up to six new players. But can the four of us agree on the same sort of players that Newcastle need to bring in this summer so Eddie Howe can transform Newcastle even more? Lee, I'll start with you. Who would be the first signing you'd like to see at St James's Park and what position in particular? Striker. It's got to be. Callum Wilson's great what he does, scores goals when he's fit. Not when he's fit. Take him out the side. You've had ESM play up top. You've had Chris Wood, who can not score. Dwight Gale doesn't even get a kick. We've even had spells where we've had Ryan Fraser up top for half an hour. We've had Jacob Murphy up top for half an hour, that tells you. Um, we're a different side when Callum Wilson is fit. And even if it's a carbon copy, similar kind of esque of player that Wilson is, I think that has to be priority and competition is good for places. Whatever that, whatever that does with Gale, out the door, whatever it does with Chris Wood, he's third choice, but... Who? Who we're bringing in? Who would you like to bring in? So everyone's gone on, and I kind of pronounce his name, Hugo and Kitty. Akiti. Akiti. But the thing is, I didn't watch Lee Gunn, so that's another video for Steve. He's 19, 20 years old so, as well, isn't he? So it wouldn't be immediate, would it? You know, if, if not just the striker, but I would... Percy look at how he can improve the eleven in the squad, and I would probably be pinch fringe players from the top six. So, like, like maybe not saying that he'll start every game. Someone like an Alex Oxley Chamberlain, because I think he'll improve the squad. Not so much the start eleven. People who aren't getting gigged to him, like and our David Garigi might be going to Milan or Minamino. It's that sort of kind of player that will improve Newcastle's. Well, look, you've got Miggy on the bench. You've got Jacob Murphy <laughs> on the bench. You need a better, higher caliber player. I mean, can we pluck another Bruno Gomeras out from like? Because that's, a, I think that's a one-off. No. no, no, no. Do you not think? If you're, no. if you're buying from another Premier League club, then you're gonna have to. You're already pay, gonna have to pay high wages. Yeah. Or you'll go further down the league and try and pinch like a, a Calvin Phillips or someone who's got expectations that want to try and get into Europe. Like, I think you need to look outside of it. I think, I think the striker situation is gonna be a landmark signing. Like, it will be someone big. Like? Lewandowski on a free. No, it might be like a Neymar or something like that. Neymar? Right, that's it. Right. That's it. Watch it. Watch it. He said right. It right. No, of course right. Right. That is the end of Newcastle right. fan no, TV. No, it's <laughs> not. Final video we'll no, have it's not. Listen, hear me out. It will be a landmark sign. It won't be someone like penny pinching. It will be someone like, okay, shirt sales. Like? I just said, like a Neymar. Oh, my God. Or if you look at Real Madrid, that's Jovic. Isn't it'll be one. someone big named. Right. It won't be just someone like oh, Patrick he'll do. Coming, it won't be. I tell you what, it won't be another Chris Wood. That's for sure. No. So again, so and that costs a twenty-five million. So, <laughs> so yeah. It'll, the audio. <laughs> so again, it will be someone you know big enough like that. It won't be a Chris Wood, which we wasted twenty-five million pounds on. So again, I said Neymar. I couldn't think of no one on the spot, but at the same time, it'll be someone that people say okay. This is going to get a shirt sales. People are going to be like, oh my God, we've got this person. Because again, I still can't believe we've got Bruno. We've got Bruno in the club now. That shirt sells, that's revenue, that's commercial stuff. And I think the next person will be a striker. Sam. Darwin Nunes, next. No, but will Darwin Nunes sign for Newcastle? Or do you think it's, is that unrealistic? Is that a big name though? Darwin Nunes? Why? I think he is a big name. Yeah. It's, Nunes, it's, I think Nunes and Akatike will be the two, personally. If, if, if we signed... If we say if, if we, we sign Na- Neymar, by the way, all you lot owe me a drink at least. I'll buy you two. All right, cool. About getting a drink. Cool, we got that recorded, yeah. All right, safe. If we had Callum Wilson fit for the full season, just in hindsight, he doesn't get injured. He's all happy. Yeah. So if Newcastle signed a similar kind of level, would you just be happy because that's an instant replacement? It depends who no, it is. You, you so need to be looking the next level. You need to go higher than so maybe because you know pro, what Dembele is very similar kind of level. So that if he's out injured, you replace that like for like. There's no drop in striker up top. I think you've got to look at the squad as well as just not just the first eleven. It's it's fascinating, Sam, on the striker debate. You have been banging the drum for Patrick Schick. Yeah, he's not. Now. I think he isn't. Ha- yeah, he signed right. a new deal, which is a bit frustrating. But what oh, is, it, is 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 Darwin nu- Darwin Nunes com- completely off the table for Newcastle? Do you think? That cannot happen because there's too many clubs that are going to be playing Champions League that'll want them. Possibly, but the other teams he's been linked with, what, in England were Man United and Spurs. Well, Man United aren't playing Champions League football. And 
<laughs> you know, so if, he, he's not going to be the main man at Spurs because of Kane and, and so on. So, so if why not? Da- if you go Darwin Nunez and then the Spurs pay him 100 grand to rotate and Man United pay him 100 grand, Newcastle just need to come and goes, well, there's 130 grand. You're going to be a star striker. You're going to play every game. You might be yeah. tempted by that. And then you've got Ekatike for the developmental side of things where you can you can bring him on slowly and not have to rush him in, which has been our detriment for the past 14 years when we've been looking at mediocrity and we've been forcing things on, on the younger players too soon. Look at Mitrovic. Audi, I want, your, I want your opinion on this winger because it seems to be someone that's... Um, a lot of newspapers in particular have been saying, keep an eye on this one, Moussa Diaby. What do you think? Do you think Newcastle can get him with DRB? Would you be excited by that? Is he a one that can put, you know, like from the commercial side of things, would he be enough as a big name? Or what, what, what's your a general opinion on him? I think we can get him, but I just don't think we need him, need him. Like, a winger is not my priority place that I would need to strengthen. Like, it's the spine. So it's a striker, midfielder, defender. Those are my top three. Wingers we could get away with. We've got ASM on one side. We've got that guy. Fraser. See, no, I think not, not, not that guy, your guy. Joe Linton. No, <laughs> you know that guy, Almiron. So again, I think we can get away with wingers. Obviously, I will take him, don't get me wrong. Oh, but at the same time, it's not a priority. I think we need to strengthen the spine. And if you look back to Man City, when they first got going, going, they signed Aguero, they signed Company. No, no they signed Rubinio, no, 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 no. Roque they, Santa Cruz, no, no, no. Listen, Nigel listen, Dion. Listen Colo Torre. Listen to the word. When they got going, going. I'm not talking about Craig that. Bellamy. Not that bit. I'm talking when they thought, you know what, we're going to start actually... Behaving like serious. a big club. Yeah. Aguero, Yaya Torre, that's the one, and company. That's what we need. We need a spine. David Silva. And David Silva. That's what I'm saying. The spine first. Wait, Wayne Bridge. All right, agree, all right. I agree, I agree with the spine in terms of centre-back, but we kind of go into the season with Miggy and Jacob Murphy. I'm sorry, like, Correct. we can't. We, we can't. I think that's why DRB uh, DRB has oh, been quality. has been linked. But he's he's he's, like, he's pace. He's trickery. I've, like he, he does seem like a different level, which is what Newcastle need to be and doing. He's all left wing. Yeah, which is, which is competition with ESM. Competition. For, he does. ESM needs competition he though. He's been the main man for two, the, well since he's been here. He's yeah. been our only hope at times, and he's getting a bit of stick, which we've covered before, and it's ludicrous, ridiculous. The guy deserves endless amounts of respect from our fan base. But for the first what eighteen months he was here, was it? It was ASM FC. You know yeah, I mean? it was. It was all you stop him. ASM, you, you stop Newcastle. Exactly. So I don't know why people are coming out saying we should sell him when, like, let's. Let's not forget he bailed us out of so many games. Like, yeah, he's been shit sometimes, but I still think he's got enough good credit in the bank to be like, you know what? Well, remember the Oxford game that we were at? We, we were struggling to beat <laughs> yeah. Oxford, and then ESM pops up and the helicopter comes out and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> One player that I would like to bring in first more than anybody for me is Sven Botman. Of course. Sven Botman, centre-half. I think even reports are saying Newcastle, when they made, that, made a ridiculous bid for him, they could probably get him for 20 million euro cheaper because of Lille's financial difficulties and now AC Milan can't really afford that sort of money now which is even better that's, that's another marquee sign where we just go you know what whatever you want cool it's, this is it within reason it's interesting because he's left footed so yeah. him or Dan Byrne it's him or Dan Byrne no what you can't, you can't, are you going to really play two left footed no. centre backs what, what happens when you play two right footed centre halves they still I think that's easier though what I think it's, it's easier it's you're a professional. <laughs> you're a professional player. You can play with both feet. I, I just think. That. Uh, tell that to Miggy Almiron. Oh yeah, what Sam, go. <laughs> Sam, another story. That's you, another video. Do you, Sam, do you think in regards to Sven Botman though, that because Newcastle was so desperate trying to get a centre half, and the, 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 you know they looked around and they had a, another look and another another look, they've actually saved so much money potentially if they can get this one over the line, and that would be a statement signing for Newcastle United if they could get Botman over and their that's line. That's one of the big positive things to say about um, the new ownership. They're not going to be taken for fools. They're not going to be being played silly buggers. We saw that with Botman and Diego Carlos in in January. They were getting taken for a ride, and and January transfer window is notorious as it is, isn't it? Um, Now's the time to do a deal with Lille. You mentioned their financial status. They're, they're vulnerable with a lot of their players. You look at Jonathan David as well. He's another one that we could go for. Um, he's, he's a forward that could do very, very well in England, preferably in a black and white shirt. So uh, let's not discount him from the, the conversation. What, what about Paqueta? Is he, is that, just, well, that was my last name I was going to mention yeah. there. Is it just because he's just Bruno's mate and it's, or is there any legs to it? Because... 
again, Newcastle, do we play with a 10 in the system? We don't. We play with three midfielders and we'll rotate with the pressing. But we're missing that though, aren't we? We are missing a bit of creativity. So, At the minute, the journalists are saying that Paqueta is unlikely. I think Luke Edwards has said that. I think the Athletic lads have said that. It is very unlikely at this stage, but money does talk. I think the Titans have kind of said, look, if Newcastle do want to buy him, it's going to break their record. I think, was it 53 million euros at least to get Leon uh, Leon talking? But this summer, I'm fully expecting our transfer record to go. Yeah, it's getting smashed. It's getting smashed a couple times. I think this this is probably the big question then. And I'll make this the last question. How much money... And how many signings will Newcastle make in the summer? Let's we'll start I with think, you, Forty. I think three big ones, and then the rest will have like mid levels. Like we might get a Tarkowski on a free, for example. Oh, like that. I know, I know, Sam. We can't go full health level straight away. I know, chill, mate. But three big ones, breaking the bank, breaking the records a couple times, and then a couple frees or a couple maybe mid level signings. A couple twenty millions here. I can't believe I'm saying that. Couple so of we, 20 million. I know, here. I can't believe I'm saying that. I just had to check myself. 25 like, here. 20, a 20 million here, 30, 25 yeah. million here. But again, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think we've got to go big with the striker. We've got to go, well, we'll have to go big with Pepeta and we'll have to go big with Botman. So, whoever the striker is, it might not be a Neymar, okay? But again, it will be a big money signing. And then again, do, the Botman will. I do realise Sam loves clipping up little short Go clips for it. Go for it. Because if it happens, as I said, you lot owe me pints. <laughs> Sam, how many players and how much money will Newcastle spend? Six players, and they will spend some money. A lot of money. (laughs) But the thing is, there's. I don't think Botman's gonna cost as much as you think he will, because you have to take advantage of Lille. And look, we've seen Villa by Diego Carlos. Fees, by the way, because again, I think where we'll save on fees, Botman will be like, "Yo, okay, we saved X amount, but don't forget, like." No, trying to my my wages will be X. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he's, st- he's still young, so they're not they're not going to be giving him 200 grand a week straight nah. off the bat, are they? Let's let's. Wait, he's not going to be my cashy level of okay. Here's a it's 20 quid just to tide you over, sort of thing. He's going to be up there. Right, right. Do we think Sam? How many how many uh, players and how much money? Six players and how many six money? players, 100 million pounds. Lee, what do you what? think? I think Eddie Howe's telling a little bit porty pies when he's press conference saying we've got to balance the books. Yeah, he's got to play it down. He's got to play it down. I think it will because there's people like Jeff Hendrick on 50k a week. Jeez. I think there's, there is people that have to leave Jeez. because there's about six or seven players picking up 300 grand a week, which is far too much. I think it'll be four players. I think three will come in and be regulars and you may get a squad player that may be bought, but I can't see it being more than 100 million. I think five players and 120 million pounds just a, a feeling I think it also I don't think I don't, we haven't really mentioned it but I think it also depends on how many players Newcastle can get rid of yeah that's, that's going to be a big one you don't want to be hen- having a squad full of Henry Saivas for the next three years that, no, that, that will be More interesting like five and a half yeah yeah <laughs> That could be another video on itself. But get your comments in. Out of all those players that we have mentioned today, how many do you think Newcastle will sign? How many will Newcastle not sign? Who have we missed out? Tell us why we're right, why we're wrong. Give Matt Target. Matt Target. There'll be a new player link today. Exactly. But anyway, like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and also like this video as well. That'd be bloody magnificent as well. We'll see you all very soon.